Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around, I have some more toys to show you guys. Um, I only got a couple of things this time just because I haven't had as much time, as much money, and really I haven't been finding that many toys. Uh, but I found a couple of things that are kind of interesting, so I went ahead and picked them up. Uh, I also found like a bag of Pokemon toys at a Valley Village that's uh, pretty far from here, and... I actually hid them because I didn't have enough money to buy them last time I was out there. So hopefully when I get back to that value village, I'll be able to uh, find them in the spot that I hid them in and pick them up then. Uh, so to show you guys first, I got this bag of uh, plushies from the uh, value village that I usually go to. Uh, they had them marked for $1.99 and when I saw what was in the bag, I just I had to get it. Uh, there were a couple other... Uh, plush uh, figures, sorry, I don't know why I said that, um, whatever, there were other plushies in there too, but they were just generic cats and dogs, and I just threw those out, because I didn't care for them at all, uh, I just threw them directly into the garbage can outside the store, uh, but these are the ones that I kept, so for $1.99, I got a uh, Koopa Paratroopa, I guess that's what the official name is on it, um, not on this directly, but that's what this uh, character is, and sorry about the glare from the light, let's see if I can equal it out. Um, so that's it with a red shell, and it also has a hang tag on it, which is, I mean, kind of nice. I could hang it up somewhere. Um, and the other one is just your standard uh, green-shelled Koopa Trooper, and uh, he does not have a hang tag, and I don't think that he ever did, um, and they're both fairly recent, they're from 2011. Um, also in the bag was a Pokemon plush, and I'm kind of happy to find this one here, but I'm going to have to clean it up, well, I mean, I don't usually buy uh, plushies because, well, they can get really dirty, they can be dirty to begin with, and uh, I pretty much have to wash them. And, um, even then, I'm still kind of iffy about them. Uh, but whenever I see Nintendo ones, I kind of want to grab them anyways. Uh, so I saw this one here in the bag with them, and it pretty much sealed the deal. It's a landform shaman. Uh, it's a Pokemon. It's a legendary. It's a grass type. Um, and it was kind of nice. And it had the, uh, tag on there, but I'm just going to rip off the tag and uh, go ahead and wash it. I probably shouldn't be touching my face, but I'm trying my best not to touch it directly with the um, palm side of my hand. Uh, but yeah, I saw this in there too, and for the three of them to pay $1.99 was really worth it, so I went ahead and uh, grabbed this bag of plushies. Now, on to today. I go to... Um, well, basically, I, I had gone to this uh, store. I found out that there was a store here in the city that sells uh, Japanese snack foods and stuff like that. So I went uh, to go to that store. And as I'm walking towards that store, I see this, like, junk shop. I, I really don't know what to call it. Uh, it seems like across the city there's a whole bunch of stores where it's literally packed to the top uh, with just absolutely anything but usually picture frames, um, old, um, old, uh, typewriters, uh, cruddy cameras, um, half-destroyed paintings, just pretty much garbage stacked to the ceiling with one little narrow, uh, walkway in between all the stuff. And in the very back, the first thing I see was a Mickey Mouse phone. It looked like it was probably from the late 90s. Uh, but I don't really care for Disney stuff all that much, so I didn't even bother to ask what the price was on that. I asked him on the off chance if he had any laser discs because he had plenty of records, uh, but he had no laser discs, he had no DVDs, he had no video games of any kind. Um, the only kind of media that he did have were records and VHS tapes, uh, which were kind of cruddy, but I didn't even end up looking at that stuff. But further into the back of the store, the very top, 
I saw this, and I had a feeling that he would ask way too much for it, because usually in those stores, it's people that aren't quite ready to start selling their stuff, but they really have nowhere else to store their stuff, and they pretty much pile shit up inside of a store trying to sell it. Uh, but I see this, I ask him how much, and he says $3, and I knew I had to get it. Uh, it's not exactly a toy, but I didn't know where else to include this. It's a piggy bank of trunks, uh, trunks from Dragon Ball Z. This is like a chibi version of trunks, and uh, the coin slot is there in the back of his head, and you just twist that at the bottom uh, to open it up. And it was in such a nice condition, and I went ahead and washed this already, uh, scrubbed it down, and poured hot water and soap um, all up in his uh, hole, I guess you can call it. And um, he came out looking pretty good, and for $3, I thought that was a pretty decent deal. Now, I don't know much about these. All I could find online was that uh, somebody's been trying to sell one for $40 for a long time, but it doesn't seem like it's actually selling, so I really don't know what it's worth, but $3 seemed like a good deal for me, and now that I have a piggy bank again, maybe I will start collecting my change instead of just spending it all. Maybe at the end of it, I can, uh, use the change for something pretty decent. But yeah, uh, that's it there. Um, that's all I got. Uh, in terms of toys and toy-like stuff. Uh, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestion, sorry, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, also, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below, and that's it. See ya.